So 15 year old Carter Rubin made history as the youngest male singer to win the voice. Let's see how it all went down. The winner of the voice is. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Carter Rubin, you did it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Wow, Gwen also got her first win, by the way, in five seasons. She was pitted against last year's winner and her fiance, Blake Shelton. What do we think of Team Gwen winning over Blake? What did you think of Carter Rubin uh, as opposed to some of the other finalists? I can see where Carter's career is going. I think sometimes we're trying to see who the next superstar is, and I think the superstars come once in a few, se you know, 10 seasons. But this kid is someone who I could see him in commercials, I could see him in musicals, I could see him on Disney. Um, I think he just has a really great future ahead of him. I think he's gonna be a huge star, but to Erica's uh, point. I don't. Uh, what? I'm Al? sorry. Nah. <laughs> Not this what? isn't right. This is not right. I don't think children should be able to compete in adult <sighs> singing contests. Come at me, bro. Hey, and, by, and while you're huffing, Sam, how many 15-year-olds do you have uh, voices coming through your car speakers when you put on music? No one wants to hear kids sing. I'm not trying to be a hater, but it's a bad investment because you do not know how their voice is going to change in the future. And it does not work. Kids have an unfair advantage because they are cute. People are cheering for them. They think they're very honorable, but no one buys their music. There was a professional there that has spent 10 years on the road singing in terrible nightclubs that probably deserved to win that contest. No disrespect, good on this kid, but no one wants to hear musicals. I don't care about commercials. I want to hear a singer. Yeah, okay, so no one wants to hear, or who wants to hear kids sing other kids, and uh, who <laughs> is responsible for getting that music for them? Their parents. There's a multi-billion dollar industry based on children being professional entertainers, okay? That doesn't even make any sense. The, who's saying. the most popular 15-year-old singer, Erica? Who's the most popular 15-year-old singer? You should know I'll more wait. than I do I'll because wait. I don't on, have I'm I'm children, okay? Le but as Le a but if they were that popular, was, you would know who they were. Liam Rines, Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, they all started out at around 15. Justin Timberlake, do you want me to keep going now? This is how they all began yes, their careers. They weren't, making, they weren't making hit songs at 15. They yes, were doing they the Mickey were. Mouse Club establishing their brand. Wait a yes, minute. they you're were. You're talking about past performers, and you're really going to say that? Albert. Does Michael Jackson, Aaliyah ring a bell? Right. <laughs> Britney Spears hit me one more time. She was 15 when that came but out. But they became stars on their own, to Al's point. This is a contest when you're competing Thank against you. adults. He does have a Thank point you, in Jess. saying, listen, I appreciate that guy's grinding for years and years and years, and you come upon this 15-year-old kid who everyone thinks is cute he's got this phenomenal voice this old soul that wins every time you're, you're not going to win right. that but against a Jeff, kid like that Jeff if I was in a Jeff if I was in a comedy contest okay if I was in a comedy contest I've been doing stand-up for 15 years saying goodbye to my kids staying in terrible hotels going to perform in front of hostile audiences if I did stand up against a nine-year-old adorable uh, little girl with pigtails, I'm gonna get my butt kicked. And that's not fair. I would vote for her. I, res I respect what you're saying, Al, but the truth is you don't have to win these competitions in order to emerge the superstar. True. Jennifer Hudson, Carrie Underwood, this isn't about winning this competition, it's about taking your opportunity and running with it. And this person who came in second runner-up, or first runner-up, has just as much opportunity as Carter does. All right. Yeah. Who came They're in second winners. last year, Erica? They're both winners. Who came in second last year? <laughs> They're both winners. Who came winners. in second last year? You don't, don't know their names. Prove my point. Thank with you, the and I'll them. have a sip of victory juice. Enough. Okay, sip on your juice. 2020 has been a challenging year to say the least. That's why we want to thank you for spending your time with us for sending us your comments and opinions, especially when you don't agree with us. That's what this show is about. And it's because of you, we're all a family and we cherish it. From all of us here at DBL, we wanna wish you a happy holiday and a healthy new year.